Hey everybody, welcome to Game Geeks. Uh, my name is Kevin, <laughs> Georges, <laughs> and Taco. And today we'll be uh, going down a list of our wish list for E3. Yep. So the games we would love to see at E3. Not, nothing announced, nothing confirmed so far. Just things that we would like to see happen at Ho E3. Our hopes and dreams. Exactly. Our hopes and dreams. Yeah. Games. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we're going to start off with uh, George's uh, top three. And go ahead, George. Number one, No Man's Sky. His favorite, his absolute My favorite. favorite. If it were out already this February, I would be not. I would not be sitting here with the two of you. I would be at home playing. <laughs> and so, what what kind of special things are you hoping for No Man's Sky? Because the game is announced. There is a there is a new release date. New release date. Uh, there is a limited edition announced. Uh, we almost know what we can do in the game. Mm -hmm. We have a faceplate for PS4. Limited edition faceplate is coming. Yep. Um, so what what are the special things you're hoping for in No Man's Sky? Uh, I'm hoping for uh, li like Bungie did with uh, Destiny, they uh, reveal the roadmap for coming DLC. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but but is is No Man's Sky a game that that needs DLC? I don't think there will be DLC. I it's think all, I it's think infinite, they, right? It's infinite. Yeah, but I think they haven't talked about it mm. that intensively. They keep repeating the same things over and over. Mm. So that that's one of the uh, criticisms people have about the game. They say, yeah, it's about space explore exploration. You can uh, uh, mine for uh, uh, resources. You can talk to other species, learn new languages, all that kind of stuff. But we heard it all before from. The three years ago, they started development until this uh, this fall. Yeah, but they're, they're, fall. they're like a, a completely bunch of new things announced. Mm. Like uh, you can shoot stuff, you can do dog fights mm. in, in, in the in space. I think they will. What I'm hinting at is they. I think they will release DLC that has something to do with getting to the center of the galaxy, because mm. the galaxy is so vast the chance of the three of us getting together and doing a mission or exploring some solar system is so yeah. small and so minimum there has to be th something that can connect us yeah. to play the game True. so I think they will announce but some maybe th it's in there already and we just don't know it yeah but it's always already in the game in Call of Duty you don't download 12 gigabytes of new maps it's already in the game <laughs> yeah, what, Call of Duty I think they will announce it more special things to do within no they Man's have to announce something yeah, yeah. Have to announce something. They especially the uh, since we're waiting till August now yeah they're delaying it with another two months and they're doing it for a reason so. or it's PlayStation VR which I am also hoping uh, Sony hasn't confirmed nor denied and Sean Murray didn't want to speak about PlayStation VR and No Man's Sky so he, he doesn't like to speak a lot about a lot of things yeah, yeah. yeah. but he but he was dodging it very Skillfully, so I think they are doing some sort of VR. I mean, if if Sony uh, could give extra money to a developer to showcase the VR, No Man's Sky would be a perfect IP to oh, do it with. Yep. Yeah, true. Your second game. Uh, my second on the wish list is uh, Okami Two, um, because it's an anniversary year for Okami. So. This my would be the year. It would year be a it very nice surprise. Yeah, yeah Oka Okami was was one of my favorite games uh, from Capcom the last ten years, I believe. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Street Fighter was close second. The game was unique. It was fresh. It was everything that needed to be. Yeah. So, what what kind of things would you like to see in Okami Two? Um, I guess it's the same. We talked in our other video about the most anticipated E3 games, about Resident Evil, uh, how we're hoping they're uh, keeping the next installment fresh again for people who have been playing it from the beginning. That goes the same for Okami. I, I really like the gameplay style and the visual style of the game, just like I did with Flower or um, uh, Journey or whatever. Just keep it that way and add uh, just a couple of new things. In the, as, as gameplay elements, not visual wise, but as gameplay elements, and that would make me a very happy person. You're happy. I'm, I'm mostly happy. So that's Okami. That's uh, Okami. And for number three, my last wish for this year, not for Christmas, because that's a long way 
Oh, wait. Um, they should do two things, or actually, I'm having four. They should. You're uh, cheating. Yeah, I'm cheating. Yeah, yeah. cheating. No. I'm, I'm cheating. Well, that's that's what you're supposed to do in games. Um, they should have Kazunori Yamauchi get on stage and show more of Gran Turismo sports. Mm-hmm. And that's prob- prob- yeah, that and would then, probably happen. And yeah. his translator or Jack Tratton, I don't care <laughs> who of the two will do it. Uh, should say the demo will be uh, available for download as of now. Right. And then I would leave you at the press conference <laughs> and go gaming. Uh, and the the rumor is Sony will close their show with a PlayStation 4 Crash Bandicoot. Oh, okay. And would it be a remaster or would it be a completely new adventure? They will have to do a new one. Yeah. The, the Ratchet and Clank one is really nice. Yeah. They they have done a great job with that. But Crash Bandicoot 1 for PlayStation 1 is such a basic game if you would translate it to the controls we we have with uh, DualShock 4 now. I yeah. think I think that they have to do something else. Yeah. You can't just make ports the same as doing jumping flash now from a game without analog sticks to with analog sticks and motion control and whatever. I think that you can it can't be done. I would love to see a new one. Yeah. Uh, we're uh, continuing with your list. Oh, my list. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I also picked three games um, that I'm very excited for to hopefully come out. One which is not confirmed 100% yet, but most likely will come out, and that is Injustice 2. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Injustice, the first game, was really fun. Yeah. I did enjoy it. I played it quite a lot. Uh, but after a while, some things about the movement just kind of started bugging me, and I dropped the game. So, with Injustice 2, Ed Boon of NetherRealm Studios, who obviously makes the Mortal Kombat games, and also uh, Injustice, um, has been hinting at a second game, or he he had posted a a profile picture with Numerical 2. Yeah, on on his Um, Twitter feed. Yeah, exactly, on Um, Twitter. And it's not Mortal Kombat XL2? No, no, it's not XL2, (laughs) probably, hopefully. Not Mortal Kombat 11. No, it will not be Mortal Kombat 11, so there are a couple things it can be, and uh, my best bet is probably Injustice 2 and I just really hope they bring out more more characters more lesser known characters Yeah, and that they look at what was great about Injustice and tweak that and the things that were not so great maybe change them or replace them uh, with like, like other things like the Mortal Kombat X like, uh, Injustice featured uh, environmental yeah. uh, stuff you can use uh, but they were unblockable Yeah, hmm. and in Mortal Kombat X they were blockable yeah, exactly. Stuff like that. And Stuff like that would be like amazing to, to yeah. just implement that. And they keep, they've kept changing the things about the game, like the, the way the dash system worked in the old Mortal Kombat 9. You could add dash that you could cancel mid-animation to where you could block, which made it look kind of weird, but it felt really good. Yeah. And then in Injustice, they got rid of that completely and did just the dashing, and that was mm. really slow. It was either walk or dash. And dashing had a lot of... Uh, could have a lot of bad... Uh, Effects on on, on your just what you're doing in the game, and then in Mortal Kombat X they introduced the run system, which made you very mobile. Um, but they didn't like, introduce it, right? It was like well, it was a thing, but it was free. a thing before. But in the modern types of games, yeah. it's the first time that they did that, and it did work out quite well. And I'd like to see them maybe take that or something that looks or is kind of similar to that, and maybe bring that to Injustice as well. Mm. So we'll see what happens with that. But I'm really Really stoked to see what they have in store for us. Or it could be Mortal Kombat first DC Universe too. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. I read on the internet somewhere that people asked for a Lego Injustice, or a Lego, no, a Lego Suicide Squad. Oh, game. Well, yeah. but I'm thinking maybe they can incorporate because the oh, of course the, they're gonna the, yeah. the cinematic world of DC is growing so fast. Like, they'll import loads of characters. The thing is, that if they when they started thinking about the characters for this game, they would have done that years mm-hmm. years ahead of time. And by that time, DC, um, who has the rights to all these characters, obviously wants the ones that are going to be in movies and, and series. new series and comic mm-hmm. book yeah. stories and whatever to be in that game, so that they have like the cross promotion thing going on. So, most likely you'll see some of the Suicide Squad yeah, characters. Killer Croc. Killer Croc uh, uh, Deadshot. Exactly. All those guys in there. Hopefully. We'll see. Killer Croc and Deadshot. Hmm? Killer Croc's why, like... Why are you not mentioning Harley Quinn? 
Yeah, because she's Steve already in already it. She's in always going to be in the game. Yeah, Joker is they too. should do a new one. And then yeah, maybe. Secret codes to get the... Oh, that would be awesome. Nude secret, unlock. Secret <laughs> nude unlock. Right. So yeah. People would buy the game just for that. Hmm. All right. <laughs> second one. So my second game is also uh, related to the same studio. Um, also related to the same uh, leak or completely different well it could be it, it, well the thing is Ed Boon as we've said before was had posted a profile picture on Twitter with the numerical Roman, Roman numerical 2 now that could be one of two things either it's Injustice 2 or because it kind of is in the Mortal Kombat font it could possibly be Shaolin Monks 2 Sha- mm. and yeah. Shaolin Monks uh, came out on the Playstation 2 Quite a while ago, PlayStation Two, Xbox, and Xbox One. Oh, no, yeah, no, like no. Xbox, like the original Xbox. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was the Xbox. Yeah, that was yeah. the original Xbox and PlayStation. And that's no wait, or was it a PlayStation exclusive? No, I believe it was an Xbox well, exclusive. No, no, no. It was on PlayStation for sure. Yeah. Now I'm not 100 percent sure. I actually think it was a PlayStation exclusive. Anyways, I played it on PlayStation. That, that's what matters. You to me. played it. Um, <laughs> so I played that game, and it was amazing. It was a very fun adventure type game. Mm-hmm. And uh, they had all the things that made Mortal Kombat great in that game, and also a really fun adventure game. So if they would make a second one of those, that would also be really awesome. I don't think it'll happen, because I think it's Injustice 2. They might have two announcements. I don't know, two, two, two. Let's hope so. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, I'm looking for If that happens, I will be so happy. So that's that's my number two A lot of pick. happy people here. Yeah. You should invite yeah. Pharrell. Yeah. <laughs> Pharrell Williams. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so my third pick uh, would be something completely different from the other two things I mentioned. It would be Command and Conquer. Yeah, it's um, not fighting. It's not well. It is it's fighting. fighting. It's shooting mostly, <laughs> but it can be fighting. Uh, so Command and Conquer, I used to play a, a ton of those games. Uh, the first one didn't really. I kind of missed that. I was too young to play it. And then Red Alert, Red Alert happened, and I played that game tons on the PlayStation because I did not have a PC at the time. Um, and, uh, well, since they've made a, a ton of good games, Red Alert 2, Tiberian Sun was really good, uh, Generals, uh, Command & Conquer 3, Red Alert 3, all super great games. And then they just kind of stopped making them because, well, they made Command & Conquer 4, and that was, like, really bad. Uh, and then they stopped making them. They yeah. promised a free They promised one, a free-to-play free one, play one, but that canceled. got canceled, got canceled, sadly. Uh, they probably have very good reasons for that, mm. but I I kind of hope that this will be the year or next year maybe that we get a new Command and Conquer game for, well, the first in a very long time. Could be amazing. Hopefully. I've never uh, liked games because I I just dislike yeah. strategy games. Yeah, that's possible. Uh, but I could see like why people will be like time wise. There, ha- there have been no games like Command and Conquer in years. Yeah, and now it might be a good time to. Get a decent one. Bring it back. Yeah. Bring it on the Microsoft Hololens. Oh, not the Hololens. <laughs> <laughs> VR. 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 Epic VR battles. Yay. All right. So that's my three. Uh, so last but not least, my top three. Mm-hmm. Um, the first game I want to see is Mega Man. Right. Um, Concept and KG uh, Infanu are bringing out uh, Mighty Number no. Nine mm-hmm. this year. After like very good. Uh, tons of delays. Yeah. Uh, and Capcom is introducing a new Mega Man animated series in 2017. Mm-hmm. So that would be like the perfect time to introduce a new Mega Man game. Uh, based on the animated series, mm-hmm. or preferable not. Because the animated series, uh, most of you people might have seen the images. Uh, Mega Man do- didn't look like Mega Man. Yeah, it was a it's shame. a new Mega Man. It's a maybe, new Ma- maybe you need to get used to it. Yeah, I'm old fashioned. It though. could be. Mega yeah. Man needs to stay Mega Man. Yeah, Mega Man should be Mega Man. Yeah. Uh, it shouldn't be back from Mighty No. 9. It should just be Mega Man. Just Mega Man. Uh, well, I'm hoping for that. Yep. Uh, I can't see it happening, but I can also see it happening because of the animated series and the success and of Mighty No. Yeah. 9. Yep. Uh, the Mega Man Legacy collection that came out earlier mm-hmm. uh, was. I believe commercial success. They sold a bunch of them. They they sold a 3DS version with a gold Mega Man amiibo. They mm-hmm. they sold digital versions. Uh, this could be like the year that Mega Man comes back. Yeah, and Mega hopefully revival. Be Mega, Mega revival. awesome again. Exactly. Mm. Uh, my second game is uh, a new game from Warner, Warner Bros. From Montreal. 
mm-hmm. the the studio that brought us uh, Batman Arkham Origins. Mm-hmm. Um, there is where they were they are working on a on a new IP mm-hmm. related to DC. Okay. Uh, so that could be a Batman vs Superman game. It could be a Justice League game. It could be anything. It could mm-hmm. be a Teen Titans Go. It could be a mobile game. It could be Hopefully anything. Hopefully not. But, yeah. but I'm hoping for a, a an Arkham Asylum Arkham series inspired game with like five to six characters to choose from. Yeah. Maybe they'll do the good. villain side instead of Suicide side. Squad. <laughs> yeah, it could be. Or they, or they pick the Joker side instead of the Batman side. Tell it from him, his point of view. Anything is possible, but it's like... It could be awesome to see a new... Uh, a fresh look at the mm. Batman universe. Or at least the DC universe. Yeah. Or just do an Aquaman game. Aquaman game. With no underwater. sound at all. No, just on Because it's all underwater. <laughs> <With food. laughs> you, you, no, you just would hear a, a Dory from Finding Nemo. <laughs> Underwater, no one can hear you scream. Dolphins masturbating and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, my final game is uh, probably the one I'm looking forward to most. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 4. Hmm. Okay, very nice. nice. There are some huge issues with it. It will probably never happen. It will probably never happen. Uh, Disney owns the rights to Marvel now. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 wasn't that huge of a success. Yeah. It but people liked it a lot. It was loved by the community, but it wasn't a huge success. Yeah. Um, but I'm still hoping for it. Yep, me too. It would be great. Yeah, it could be awesome. Yep. And I think it's slightly more realistic they'll do it now Disney owns Marvel. Because if Maybe. Disney can make money out of anything, they'll do it. True, but do they want to share with Capcom? Yeah, and do do they want to see Captain America get beat up by Radio? And we've seen it before, but mm. now it's Disney. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, I don't know. I oh, hope so for you. Uh, okay. Me too, I'm, I'm hoping for it. Uh, so that are my three games. So to end this wish list of ours, uh, we're naming three words that would probably be used like a z- bazillion times during the E3. The words of E3 this year. The what words are the, of the, E3. the catchphrase is going to be this year. What's yours? I think it's going to be immersive. All new video games, video games need to be immersive. More immersive than from other studios. Plus we have PlayStation, uh, PlayStation or VR in general that's going to be huge. And that's immersive as well. So immersive will be the word. Okay, immersive. Uh, my word is gonna be VR. VR. Yeah, or virtual reality. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, uh, a, a flavor of it. Uh, because, well, people are just like waiting for VR. They're talking about it, like for years, mm-hmm. and this is the year that uh, both the Oculus is out, the HTC Vive is out mm-hmm. or is coming. It's, it's mm-hmm. out, right? Uh, the Vive at least is, is ready. Out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the Vive is out. The Vive and Oculus are both out. Yeah, Vive and Oculus are both out. And uh, Sony is releasing the VR in October. October. Mm-hmm. Uh, so probably they're just going to be they're like dropping bombs on, of VR on yep. Instead of probably. indie games, VR games. Yeah, VR indie games. Okay, so my, my pick is twofold. I couldn't choose which one I thought would be more... Well, which one would actually be the word? Which one uh, would be more epic? Yeah, which one would be more <laughs> epic? So I thought epic because now we have Battlefield 1, of course, coming out uh, mm. soon, next year, actually. And they're going to probably show trailers and whatnot and talk about the game and how epic the battles will be. Epic destruction. Epic destruction. More epic, epic than ever before. Yeah, epic melee attack. I don't know. They can Ep- make everything epic. And then Epic 64 multiplayer mess. Exactly. Uh, yeah, exactly that. And then, of course, you have Titanfall that will also have epic space epic battles mechs. and mechs and uh, I don't know what else. And there's going to be tons of epic. It, yeah, exactly. Epic space battles as well. So there's going to be a lot of epic stuff going on at E3 this year. So epic I expect Skylanders. to hear a lot of epic on stage uh, for E3. But also, uh, because this is the year that Overwatch came out and titles like uh, Titanfall and Battlefield 1 probably as well... We'll be wanting to get on that esports train. Mm. Yeah, everyone wants everybody to get esports. Wants everyone get e-sports wants that esports money, that esports fame. So I'm guessing that a lot of these companies will be tagging their games as 
esports, e-sports ready. Yeah, like, this mm-hmm. is going to be ready. the new esports phenomenon. Yeah. Gears of War 4 probably going to lean heavily on the esports. ESL, because, Gears of War. Exactly. Uh, all that kind of sports. Maybe yeah. even as well, yeah. Like, all kinds of stuff. Can, they can all be esports and FIFA a lot of games. 17 esports, Madden 17 esports, yep. NBA 2K 17 exactly. esports. Everything can be esports, and I think we're going to see a lot of that this year. So, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe somewhere here, or here, or here, or here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to watch the uh, E3 coverage on the website, of course. You could probably click up here somewhere. Or the over there. there, we're clicking everywhere. We were making the whole. Just click everything. Just click the entire. Just click somewhere on the <laughs> video. You'll everywhere, you'll be fine. Just click all, all the things. Yep. All the buttons. Press all the buttons. All right. And we'll see you next time. Bye guys. See you next time.